Guys, welcome back to the M News. I know you're thinking, when you seen the name down below, you were thinking, All Hallows Eve. All Hall Halloween's over, but you know what? Ha All Hallows Eve was one of those movies, really, really, uh, really uh, low-budgeted horror flicks that came out around Halloween. It's an anthology film. Uh, you know, they find a VHS tape, they play it, and different types of stories come on that lead up to an event uh, with this really creepy-ass clown. Here's a Here he is right here. Uh, yeah. You got this clown from hell. His name is uh, Arts the Clown. Uh, pretty much, you know, you got this. It's, have you ever seen uh, Michael Myers Halloween? It, uh, you have a, a, an older, an adult, a young adult, who's maybe sitting these little kids, and suddenly they get a, VA, a VHS tape inside one of the kids named, uh, I'm pretty sure, Tommy's uh, candy bag, and the tape reveals uh, really disturbing images such as like the devil uh, raping a woman a woman and demons cutting a baby out of a woman and different you know stuff like that creepy really creepy stuff that kids shouldn't be watching and you know I'm not gonna spoil everything so I'm not gonna if you guys want to check it it's one that's probably not gonna be in stores for a, you might be able to find it I found this for a really cheap price ten bucks so I grabbed it I was like it's the last one the hell. I really enjoyed this movie, actually. Uh, the clown really creeped me out, too. I think the clown is the reason why this movie ended up being so creepy as a low-budget film. The acting is, is, is just... It's, it's lifeless. The acting is lifeless. There's nothing... There's nothing good about the acting. Uh, you know, some of the acting in the movie, at some points, are believable. Some of the, so, the, some of the chase scenes are kind of stupid. Not, not, they're not stupid, it's just the acting towards the chase scenes, like if there's the girl running and she's sitting there screaming, she's getting dragged, she's screaming, she won't even try to get away, that's what I mean. And that, that it's, it has those kind of situations in there, but other than that, if you take away the parts of that, this is a really good anthology film in general. Uh, no, I actually recommend it to horror fans. You guys may look at it at the store and you're thinking to yourselves, oh, this, this, ain't, this ain't gonna be a good horror flick to put on. Well, actually, in... I'll be honest with you, I put this in. I bought it, I put it in, I got creeped out, and it works. Uh, yeah, some of the parts in the movie are boring. It's not a long movie, it's not like a hundred and something minutes, it's only like a... It's only 82 minutes long. So it's not that long, it's uh, near, merely an hour and a half, not even an hour and a half, just under an hour and 20 minutes, and... For the most part, it's a little rushed. You know, you don't get to see the kids go trick-or-treating. It's just, you're in the house, and he finds this videotape in his bag, and they wonder who put it in there, and I gotta admit, going into this movie, I thought it was gonna be really terrible, like that Paranormal Asylum movie that was also out, and I bought that one, too. I hated that one. No, I'm glad I picked this one up, actually. I'm, I'm actually... I mean, it's not gonna go for Blu-ray or none for me. This ain't gonna be one I'm gonna go up and trade this in, buy it for Blu-ray, because they actually probably didn't have Blu-ray. But... It was a good anthology film, and I'll give it credit for that part right there. So if I were to grade this on a horror basis, I think I would grade All Hallows Eve. I'll give it a fresh grade, a 3 out of 5. Uh, guys, I'm Paul. I apologize. I'm still getting up, used to my new grading scale. I like this new grading scale more than the old one, but for some, some reason the old one's still stuck in my noggin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, I'm going to give All Hallows Eve. I can give it, I can get it up to a C plus. Yeah, I'll give it up to a C plus because I thought the clown was really, really creepy in this movie. I mean, he's he's probably just a bit creepier than Pennywise the clown from Stephen King's It. Maybe not even as much, but he might just go up there with him. Yeah, this, this clown is the creepiest thing you'll ever see. If you put this movie in, you might laugh at some points, but the whole premise of this movie is dark, gritty, it's just just gross and really enjoyable for a horror fanatic. So, guys, I'm a horror fanatic. That's why I gave a C plus. So, guys, like, comment, tell me what you guys think of All Hallows Eve. Have you guys seen All Hallows Eve? Are you guys planning on going and picking this damn thing up from the Kmart or the Walmart and uh, watching it? And I tell you what, the main character in this movie looks half almost like Amy Adams. I'm not even joking. I was shocked when I, I, I thought it was Amy Adams in this movie. I was like, how the hell did these low budget directors get that? And 
I'm gonna give him a shout out. I'm gonna give this guy a shout out because I really think he did really good as this clown. It's Mike Giano Jenna. Mike Gianna L. Gianna, Gianna Lee as Mike Gianna Lee as Art the Clown. Congratulations, you got my hand high five. Get that.